Welcome back to Crochet Creations and episode number 50. Woohoo! Unbelievable. I haven't done a regular episode since November because I put them on hold and did Vlogmas and then I did the 12 Days in Gnome and I've been doing addictions videos, which means that I have more of. I don't have a uh, unboxing. That's what that means. <laughs> Grab a cup and join me. I have Jamaican Me Happy with regular creamer, um, meaning just plain milk. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. I need my creamer back. There wasn't any in the store, and we're having another store snowstorm today, so... Not quite sure if he's going to find any. <laughs> What's on the agenda tonight? Well, I want to do an update uh, from the Facebook group, which I normally do. So we have weekly D stashes on my live show now, which is on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this week's, I don't think I brought it over here. Maybe I can reach it. This week's D stash went to Brenda. You have to be present to win. She got two skeins of the sugar wheel cotton from Yarn B Hobby Lobby brand. And she also got a stitch marker, which is the daisy, the small daisy one. So that was yesterday. And then we gave away Crochet World magazine on the on the live yesterday so that was fun um speaking of the live we have been doing a couple of mini make-alongs which next week we will be doing a third piece of the series which is this hat and it's very very easy and i'll be doing it in two parts be doing the back of the hat and then i'll be doing the crown of the hat so it'll be two parts all you need to do it is uh, a skein of bulky five in maybe about a hundred yards of it and an l hook 8.0 millimeter and um half double crochet and a button <laughs> and join me next sunday morning and we'll do the first part and that's, that is a lot of fun. A lot of girls have been doing that with me. Um, we will be doing that for two weeks, and then we'll have a prize. I haven't picked it out yet. So if you're doing the mitts, or you are, you did do the mitts, they will be drawn on Sunday morning. The winner will be from the finished photos on my Facebook page just look in the announcements and all the shenanigans going on over there will show up there is the mitts of course there is the year-long make-along which is the make a square it's the pineapple afghan and oh my gosh how many of you are doing that thank you so much it's a lot of fun. I'm trying to make an heirloom for my daughter to have, so I'm challenging myself to make a square a month, and then we'll sew it together, and she will have a cream tweed pineapple. Now, they do lay flat after. Don't let that bother you. Um, and besides, no blanket lays flat anyway. You throw it on the couch, and then it will lay, but they will, they will, they will work their way flat and that is my first square I'm going to start my second square here soon because it's February 1st so if you'd like to join in that there will be random prizes from that I'm getting ready to draw the first one soon we also have two one knit and one crochet uh, Valentine's make along you can pick whatever you want as long as it's Valentine's themed and I believe I have the crochet prize right here. There's two stains of Serenity in bulky five. That's a tweed. 
And the colorway on this is called Claray. And this is a 97% acrylic. So there's just that little bit of viscose in there. And they run 109 yards. It's the same one I'm using for the mitts, only it's not a tweed. Um, the knit one has charisma in this colorway. That is sunny day. And then we also have um, a make along going on for Hook and Stitch Live, which is grab an old make that you've been sitting, it's been sitting around, it hasn't got any love from you, and you really need to finish it. Drag it out of the box, and it needs to be, you need to post a picture of it half done with your date that you started it, and then at the end, post it again with the finish date. And I will be drawing random prizes from that one on the 20th and the, the February 20th and March 20th. And then again at the end we'll have final grand prizes for that. And what else? Lots of stuff going on all the time. I have a secret giveaway in my last addictions video. So if you haven't seen that and you would like to win some fuchsia red heart with love metallic watch that video leave me a comment um one more thing oh you're waiting to see who won the january hats hats and more hats well of course you are and that was for premier woods in chipmunk i should add a stitch marker to that, shouldn't I? All right, well, we can do that. We will do that. Um, I have all of the names that entered. There were 53 names that entered January's hats, hats, and more hats. That is awesome. I hope that every single one of you will continue on throughout the year because I have a great bonus planned. Um, I am going to put in a pom-pom. I'm going to put in yarn. I'm going to put in stitch markers, uh, uh, a tape, you know, measuring tape. Um, I'm going to put in some knitting needles. Okay, I picked out a daisy for this one. I'll put it on there so that I won't I don't forget so there's the daisy it's a yellow one and I put like I said I put all the names into the wheel so we'll open the wheel up sure we will there we go there are 53 names in the wheel and so I'm not gonna do last man standing I'm going to spin the wheel and see what the wheel tells me is the winner and you have a week to get back to me. You have to have a United States address, which I believe everyone that's playing this except for Reggie does, which is fine. She knows how to play. So let's see who won. Susan Knapp won. Susan Knapp, you won the January hats, hats and more hats. This is your skein of yarn. Please get in touch with me. You have a week and you just need to email me or message me through Messenger, however you want to do it. But congratulations to Susan. So everybody else, the February post is up. And this month, the highlighted yarn is Yarn Be Glowing. That is an, uh, my very first Hobby Lobby yarn that I decided to do on my hats, hats, and more hats. So there's the colorway. This is a four medium yarn. It is a 60% acrylic and 40% polyester. 
there's a lot of color in this one. It's called Lace Wing Fields, and you get 198 yards in a skein, and I haven't started either one of my knit or my crochet hats yet. So I will be doing that very quickly here. Um, I'm not sure about my crochet hat, but I'm most likely just going to do the easy knit hat because all we are really looking for is what it looks like in knit. I don't need to... I can use my learning skills somewhere else. I can just make a easy knit hat, right? I would challenge myself to make a knit hat every month, so that's pretty cool. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to talk about about make-alongs before I get to my makes is I am going to be doing a knit make-along on my live show on the 21st of February. That'll be your first knit one. I have challenged all of the new knitters to join me. You know who you are. We're our new knitters. Oh, don't sing, Chris, right? <laughs> Okay, so why I'm bringing it up is because I want you to be able to get your supplies. So I'm using a 9 millimeter, and these are 13, US 13's 9 millimeter. And this one happens to be a 24 inch length, but you don't use, you're just going to do straight. So if you want to use straight uh, wooden knitting, knitting needles and not a circular, that's fine too. Just a 9 millimeter will work. You don't need to use a circular. I'm just using it because I don't really have a lot of knitting needles. And these were available and they work just fine. So um, the other supplies that you're going to need is two wooden buttons to match your yarn. And your yarn is going to be a five bulky. I'm using loops and threads in charcoal colorway for mine and I you need about 300 yards of a five bulky and so I'm using three skeins of this and um, I'm gonna measure mine so I may or may not use all three skeins completely but that is the plan this is my own pattern and I'm hoping all of you will join me that's why I mentioned it today so that's how far I am, and it's a button cow. It's not a mystery or a secret or anything. It's just something that I want to make, and it's Outlander inspired. So that's that's all the goings on. I think I've caught you up. So what have I been working on? Well, I've been working on a lot of things. I've been working on, well, I've shown you um, a couple of different cowls are on the on the needles on the hooks didn't get any love so i'm not going to show them today i got a cocoon didn't get any love so i'm not going to show it today the one cowl the one that's being made in the coffee shop that one i did work on that one um it is the yeah, of course. I'll link it below. It's a tutorial by this fiber spider, Craig, the fiber spider. And it is this beautiful button cowl. And I used one whole cake so far. So I am going to guess that there's going to be at least three or four cakes of coffee shop on this. This is a three light, and it's done in that overlay. And I just wanted to show you because I did do some work on it. I am completely done with the first cake. I need to add on another cake now. So that's coming along. Again, that's inspired by Outlander. <laughs> because I thought the colorway was perfect. And then... I started a new hat, which, what did I do with it? Oh, I dropped, dropped, dropped it. I dropped it. This hat is just a skein that was kicking around. I ran into it and I said, oh, I don't know what it is, but I have been on a gold kick. A gold kick. Everything I want 
to every all the rust that I see, golds that I see, all of those shades. I just I want to make everything in those colors. So this one was sitting in a, one of the boxes when I was going through and putting some stuff away, and it was all by itself, and it was called Willow Wash Heather. And I had gotten this skein. Now you can see there's all kinds of colors going on in there. And if I look at it, I see like a yellowish and a, like, it's, almost green it's really different so let's read about it it and I only got one because I wanted to try it so it has 180 yards in a skein it's 3.5 ounces it's a hundred percent acrylic absolutely soft so soft it's called willow wash heather and uh, it's made in Turkey. So a four medium. I don't know how many colors there are. It has a slight halo, which is perfect. And I started a knit hat in it. I'm using an eight millimeter. I've already done the whole ribbing. That's going to be, the, I've started the first row of the hat. So my beautiful stitch marker I got from Deb. Thank you so much for that. I love that. And I'm just throwing together a hat because I just feel like it. This is the Ross hat. For those of you that have tried it, the ribbing is a three by one. Um, sometimes I do a different ribbing, but it's still basically the vanilla, vanilla hat. So I started that. What else did I work on? Well, I worked on a dog sweater this weekend, and I showed you that. I didn't bring it in. I finished it. It's in my addictions video. It's very cool. It's very bright, and it's a lovely, easy pattern. And I linked it below in the addictions video. So that is complete, and you can go look at it there. And then the other thing is that I made a custom order. Now, I've, um, I used to make the Margaret cowl from the Fiber Flux video. Fiber Flux channel, Jennifer at Fiber Flux has many, many, many kinds of scarves and all kinds of goodies that she puts up. Hats and mittens and you name it, banners. and I mean, she's been at it for a while. Well, she had a Margaret cowl on there one day and a couple years ago, and I did it, and I adapted it to be able to basically style it, wear it whatever way you want. So if you take and you can put one button on, you can put two buttons on, you can put three buttons on, you can sew the seam down so it doesn't move, you can do whatever you want. You can put fringe on it. You can, you know, make it wide, make it skinnier, do whatever. So this lady saw that I had one up there, and she wanted one in gold. Uh, she looked at all my yarns, and she came out with the... She ended up choosing the Butternut Tweed in the Nicole Stitch Studio by Nicole. You know what? I can't talk today. Again, slow down, Chris. Get the words out. <laughs> so this is a four medium. It's um, the AC Moore brand that used to be at AC Moore. I don't know if you can get it. You were still being able to get some at Michael's over Christmas, but I haven't been in the store in a while, so I don't know. But uh, I made her a button cowl. Now, I will link the Margaret cowl below. The one that she does is about 10 inches wide by 30 inches long. I did mine 18 inches wide, which is this way, by 30 inches wide, which is the other way. And all you do is you wrap it around your neck. You make yourself a collar if you want, and then you button it to, to keep it in place, whatever way you want to wear it. 
So that is a really cool pattern. It's almost like the waffle stitch, but it's not quite. But yes, it's a free tutorial. You can go and look at that. You know, you could wear it whatever way you really wanted to. I had it on Claire uh, over the weekend, and I showed it in my video. You'll see it on Claire in the intro. And I'm going to be changing the intro out as I do things. So that is done. I'll be sending that out to its new owner shortly. And what else do I have? Oh my. Well, last week I opened a new subscription box. It was an Etsy hand-dyed, uh, hand, hand, uh, what is it? Indie Dyer. And her name was Buxom Cat Knits. And the colorway on this was an Outlander inspired. And it, I guess the club is going to be Outlander inspired club. So I joined. Um, I have a second one. February is coming. I don't know if I have to like try and get it every month or, or what it is because it's not autumn it's not auto um this one was a fingering weight it's a sock yarn and the color was forget me nots and this is all I have left I caked it up I used an H hook and I made a crochet shawl it's called the little fictions and depending on how big of a skein you had, it says one ball is all you need. Well, I didn't make the tassel, but let me tell you. Claire, like, took it out of my hands to wear. She's such a brat. And so she's wearing it. And I'm going to reach over there and get it and take it off of her so you can see the beautiful scarf that it made. And how drapey. Okay, so look at that. And it's quite long as far as it gives you plenty, plenty of room. It has picots all along the edge, all the way down. And all the way down the other side so it came out gorgeous just gorgeous now you can tuck these in so easily to wear it isn't that beautiful so I finished that yesterday and I just love it. I didn't put a button on this one. I didn't think you needed it. So I just love it. I will link this free pattern down below. Um, it is from Annie'sDesignCrochet.com. And um, it's for a one skein. Now, I've made a lot of these fancy little scarves like this in the past. They usually sell fairly quickly at the craft fairs that I go to. Um, I don't know if I want to let this one go. I'm, I'm undecided because it's the first Outlander Club colorway that I got, you know. I don't know. But, yeah, you can you could wear it whatever way, you know, whatever way you wanted to because it's so easy to... Uh, it's warm in here and it is um, a wool blend so it had merino wool 80-20 so 20% nylon and 80% merino wool but it's not itchy it just feels like like a scarf actually I absolutely love it it came out wonderful so, 
yeah hope you enjoyed my video if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified of any of my new videos that I put up if you're not a member of my Facebook group please hit click the link down below hop on over to both my uh, other group to the happy scrappy yarn challenge the theme for that is spring and the prize for that is a kit with a bunch of unforgettable by red heart which everybody loves that is the first quarter prize this year so be sure and join that and um, hit the like button if you like the content and I will talk to you guys all Sunday morning. Bye now.